So guys, today a Buffalo video on the channel today. We're here for the new Castle United vs Brentford preview. It's a massive game going into the game on Saturday. We are finally back at St James's Park. I honestly can't wait for the game. It's going to be an electric atmosphere for one thing and one thing only. Obviously, we all know what the takeover is anniversary. It's one year on. Well, tomorrow Friday. I'm recording this on the Thursday. I need to get this video out quick. Been busy all week, boys, but we're getting the videos out, don't you? Where we but big game on Saturday. Before I start off the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll look at Brentford, look at Newcastle, and we'll end off the video there. So let's get in the video now and let's look at Brentford. So then Brentford, they've had a a funny season, you could say. They've they've done quite well. They've picked some picked up some really really good points and had a decent transfer window and whatnot. You'd expect this from Brentford, probably, but um, overall. Sound. They're not. They're not near the top. They're not going for you, but they're, they're far for the relegation. They're sitting tenth for the Premier League at the minute, and they, they are doing well. One thing that I've seen, and it's a little bit. I didn't even realise this. Brentford have only won one out there last six. Is it even more than that? Um, it, it really, really could be. Either got beat full of either beat. So really, they've they've not like, had the best of best of seasons, but um, they've only lost one out there last. Last six as well, so you look at that and think that's a positive. Obviously, um, that five-two win over Leeds was massive. Obviously, as we all know, the former Newcastle man Ivan Tony got a hat trick in that game. Obviously, last time we played them at St James's Park, he scored, um, celebrated and whatnot. Shit to see, but will he do it again if he scores? Most likely, but he's one of them type of players, isn't he, Ivan Tony? Where he likes to get revenge and basically he's just trying to show our Newcastle look. This is what you've missed out on, um, but. Overall, they've had a they've had a good season. Obviously, in the transfer window, who the who did they sign? I honestly can't think of anyone off the top of my head. Ben Me, I know they're saying Ben Me, but overall, there wasn't like a big, big, big signing for Brentford. Obviously, I know that they're probably the least rich, richest club in the Premier League, but for how their club's been built over the last couple of years, from being like down in like League One, League Two to like pushing in the Premier League, not just even like. To survive relegation, not the position where nothing falls out at the minute. They are going for it, and they are doing extremely well. They do play some really, really good fast pace for uh, fast paced football. Brentford like getting the ball up, like getting the attackers involved well, and like to play on the counter attack from corners. We've seen that against Man United many times. Like they'll beat Man United four 0 at half time. A team that beat Man United four 0 at half time on a bad team. It's as simple as that. But. Let's look at their last game. So obviously they drew nil nil with Bournemouth. We'll have a look at their starting lineup. See who we could look out for. Um, they, oh, if I look at that team, Newcastle are beating that. But it's it's the the, the speculation of how Brentford are going to come to the game. How Newcastle are going to come into the game. Like Ben May Jansen, Rico Henry, and um, <coughs> Aja, the former Celtic centre back who we were linked with, and David Raya and goal. You look at that and think if Maxi's fit, Almond's on form, and Callum Wilson's um, in form. We're getting a couple of goals against that, but it's their tag. Obviously, Ivan Tony Mbebo is a very good player. They've got some really good players on the bench as well. Um, obviously, they've got De Silva. We all know him from that goal against Newcastle in the Carabao Cup. Vissa, I do really, really rate. Um, I think he's really, really good, Vissa, and I think he should be getting played a lot more. He scored a lot of crucial goals for uh, last season for Brentford. Um, Onyeka scored well. He got given us a La own goal, but he scored in the, um, the game last season at St. James' Park, but... Overall, Newcastle against Brentford last last season alone, and they were good games. Obviously, that three three draw St James's Park, one of the highlights you could say of the season. One of the games where you probably don't forget about a really good game against Brentford. A three three draw came back from behind and come back and come back again. It was really really good. Then obviously at their place, we absolutely played them off the park. I think they got a red card quite early on. You give us, they give us quite similar vibes to Saturday against them. Fulham got a red card early on and they just couldn't handle us for the rest of the game. That was it. That's what it was like um, at um, Brentford, the, the Brentford Community Stadium uh, last um, well, February just gone. But Thomas Frank's done a fantastic job and he woke up at St. James Park wanting to win. It's, it's clear of day. He want to come and cause an upset. Newcastle are flying. If we win... We're looking very good. Let's speak about the two then. So then, Newcastle, it's obviously been a very, very positive weekend. As we all know, tomorrow, Friday, it is the anniversary of the takeover. One of the, probably the best thing to ever happen to this football club. <coughs> and knowing that, it's it's been one year since. It feels like yesterday. It literally feels like yesterday. Sand outside James, St. James' Park, Monk the fuck. 
just celebrating one of the best days of our lives. And then now it's a year on and how much the football club has transformed is ridiculous. Like last season we couldn't compete with Ben Brentford before the takeover. Now we are seventh, doing really, really well. Arguably shouldn't have lost a game this season. If you told me that eight games in we shouldn't have lost a game, playing Man City, Liverpool and whatnot. You, you take that every day of the week, absolutely. I think this game is even more crucial than it, than it, than it could be because obviously our game next week against Manchester United away. The, obviously we all know how funny Man United are at the minute, but um, we we never win at Old Trafford. We've won once this in, 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 since 1992, once. So this result could look even better if we get beat to Manchester United, if we get beat on Saturday they lose to Man United it's not going to look good and we'll, we'll drop down the table but if we win we can go in the top 5 which is massive if if Man United and Chelsea don't pick up results we go 5th even if Brighton get beat we can go 4th it's so, I think this game actually is quite crucial in our season Brentford at home you'd expect us to win it but we all know how good they are um, from Saturday Injuries, team news, and whatnot. We don't actually know about Maximin yet on Thursday when we're calling this. Um, he's not been any of the training foes, but they've said that his return is um, very, 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 very close. It's a tough one to decide if he'll play or not. It'll be one of Eddie Howe's last calls, he likes to call it. But players are in form. Wilson, when he plays, he scores goals and he does really, really well. So I think Callum Wilson's a must. Albon has got two goals, should have had more against Fulham, but. You absolutely have to start him. Obviously, Joe Lynn had that little bit of an injury. Does he return to the team? Obviously, we have got the predicted team at the moment. I don't want to give too much away, but it is a weird, it is a tough game against Brentford, and we'll have to go into the game well. For me, it's how we start off the game. If we control them first 15 minutes, Newcastle United are winning that game. If we're looking shaky, give them an early goal. That's when it goes tits up. It really, really does. If they against Fulham, get that red card, get an early goal, and then just, just they just couldn't handle it. If we do that at Brentford, we will absolutely smash them all over the park on Saturday. But will that happen? It's all done how Brentford turn up. <coughs> I can see Newcastle turning up and playing really, really well. But if I've got to say a prediction, we have been really well recently. We've done well. Let's see. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna go with two nil. Two nil Newcastle. Goal scorers Wilson and no what Joe Linton. He got a goal home and away against Brentford last season, so we'll go with Joe Linton. So then lads, that is the end of the preview. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It would mean a lot if you could do so. Make sure to watch the um, predicted team out tomorrow. Obviously the vlog on Saturday. The atmosphere is going to be electric. You cannot miss the vlog on Saturday. Make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on. I'll see you all for the predicted team tomorrow in the game on Saturday. How are you, the lads?